Greetings, and welcome to another Snack Time with Odin. This episode, I have some delightful treats. I was getting a gift for a friend at a restaurant. It's kind of like a fusion-y kind of restaurant, and they also had a little display that's about like this big of other delightful treats and stuff you could buy. They had some Poppin' Cook and Candy Kits, which was the primary reason for my trip, so that I could do a couple of fights with candies. So I've got those. I got a donut kit and a bento box kit, which look forward to that. So I also got some delicious treats because there were some things that I hadn't tried before and something that I really wanted to have because I hadn't had in forever. So before we get started, be sure in the comments down below you tell me what you are snacking on so that I can see if I need to start snacking on things that I've never tried before. And if you have something that I absolutely have to try and you'd like to share some snacks from your region, feel free to check out my P.O. Box. I'm going to start with something that I already had because I got a thing of Thai tea and Thai tea is really delicious, but I wanted something snacky with it. So I got these Senbei rice crackers and I thought they were sweet, but they are not, or at least like plain rice crackery tasting. Um, they are flavored with, like, soy sauce-ish things, I think. I don't know, let's look at the ingredients. Yes, soy sauce powder and MSG. So, that is what I tried. These are cute, they're little individually wrapped rice crackery bits. They taste like those maple-y, the same texture as those maple-y rice crackers that I've had um, in a previous video where they had maple flavor on them. Those were delicious. Same texture, very pillowy. They come in a pack of two, and they have a nice snap. Inside is kind of white from the ricey texture, and they're just very, very lovely. Crunchy and delightful. Now, to wash it off, I have Vitamilk, which I've seen before and I've just never tried. But at the current point, it is a Vita smoothie, because I left it in the back of my fridge and forgot about it, and now it's a popsicle. So I'm hoping it won't be explosive, because I think this is glass, but it is basically a soy milk drink. I'm not sure what to expect, because I don't know if this is like a really sweet smoothie type, type of deal, or if it's just like soy milk. So I'm not sure what to expect. I think this is, I hope this is twist off, and I hope this doesn't explode all over me. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Yay! No explosion! Whew. Smells like, um... Very, uh... What's the word? Poutine-y, like... Textured of, um... It definitely tastes like a nut milk instead of... Or smells like a nut milk instead of a, um... Dairy product, so we'll see. I mean... It's okay. Tastes like soy milk. A little sweet. Nothing particularly special. So, yeah, It's okay. I'd drink it. Moving on. We have another type of rice cracker. I just got this because I was wondering what the flavor was like. And these are called Japanese rice cracker. I'm not sure if Hime Maru is the brand or the flavor or something. But they're little chunks. I like little chunks. Ooh, they're bigger chunks. Ooh, they smell good. A little bit soy saucy. Let's see what the ingredients are like. Non glutinous rice, oil, MSG, starch, syrup, spices, mandarin, orange peel, and chili pepper. There's also a lot of starches like uh, cassava, sweet potato, huh, and caramel color. And bonito is in here, apparently. Interesting. Smells good. They're little chunky, lumpy things with flecks of other things on them. They look good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I really like those. Those are very crunchy, very crispy. Oh, there's a peppery bit to them. 
That is quite pleasant. It's very savory. Oh, I can get into those. Those are really good. Ooh, I'm going to have another. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mmm. Oh, I really like these. Moving on to the desserty things. Something that I'm familiar with is mochi. These are flavored rice dumpling thingies. And I have had these kind of things before. I just haven't had melon flavored. I'm a really big fan of melon. I've had strawberry and orange. Strawberry you can find everywhere. Things like um, sesame seed and... What's the very another popular? Red bean. I've had those before, but I haven't had the melon ones before. And I like this brand a lot. So I was really happy to see this. Because in my area, I really don't have a lot of variety. Which is very irritating. So whenever I see a new opportunity to try more things, I jump on it immediately. I'm not getting anywhere with this. So that's what it looks like. It's very plushy and squishy and delightful to play with. But you don't really don't want to get your nasty meat hooks all over it. So that is what it looks like in the center. It's got some jelly and another thing in there, which looks kind of like a, I don't know, like a marshmallowy, creamy thing in there. But that's what that is. It's just very fun. It's very stretchy and delightful. Very good. It's not very sweet. And it's very, um, kind of like cantaloupe kind of melon. So if you're not into cantaloupe, you probably will not like this. But the texture is just very fun and very, very plushy and squeesh. Now those would have gone very well with the Thai tea that I had, but I didn't want to break into them. Because I was waiting to do this video. But now that I have, I'm going to make me some tea. And finally, we have this choco and coffee cookie. I am not too sure about these. They look good. They just look like shortbread cookies with a chocolatey filling in them. So, let's give them a try. See how large this box is? You see how small the tube is? That's not cool. Tube. I think the powder on that mochi set my lipstick. Ooh, they're a lot thinner and smaller than I thought. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, I get a very nice coffee flavor out of that. But these are very thin. They kind of look like teeny tiny pies or tarts. These definitely probably would go with tea. I don't get a lot of the coffee until the very end. The cookie is nice. It's a lot like um, English biscuits. It's very, very crumbly. Very Not very too like flavorful or sweet. And then you get this little burst of coffee in the center, which doesn't hit you until the rest of the cookie is gone, which is kind of interesting. It's not very chocolatey either. It's mostly I get mostly coffee out of this, so interesting. It's a little bitter. I'd say it's like one step above coffee ice cream, but not by much. That's very good. I don't know if I'd buy them again, because I'm not very... It doesn't leave too much of an impression on me, but uh, they're pretty nice. Yeah, I'll eat them. So that is all I have for this episode of Snack Time with Odin. I'm going to go actually eat my breakfast. And yes. So, be sure you told me in the comments down below what you were snacking on while you were watching me snack on things. So that I know what I need to snack on next. And, if you want to send me something to snack on as well, check out my P.O. Box down below. That will do it from me. Be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Check down in the description box for all of my social media links if you want to follow me around the interwebs and see more of my work, including my jewelry and my writing. And I want to thank all of my Patreons for your support on this channel. Your help really helps me out to bring out more content to you and help me exist. So, if you'd like to support the channel as well and get exclusive jewelry-making tutorials that are not posted on YouTube, check out my Patreon page down below. Thank you all so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.